everyone. Welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benny Hughes, and I'm here today with Tim Diggs. Tim, welcome to Taproot TV. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Tim has been with System Improvements now for about a year, and you have just really gotten up and running. You've been teaching Taproot courses all over the country and doing such a great job. And today, one of the things we're going to talk about is something that you and Alex Paradise have been working on, and that's the causal factor worksheet. And we're going to be doing a webinar here um, near the end of the month that's going to be fantastic. So let's give everybody a little idea about what this is about. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's start with what it, the definition of a causal factor. Okay, a causal factor is a mistake, error, or failure that directly led to or failed to mitigate the consequences of an incident. And so it doesn't sound like it should be that hard to find those, but it really seems to be kind of an issue with some people trying to find those causal factors. Yeah, in our teaching our courses and things, that's something we get the most feedback from with new users is, hey, I need some more practice with causal factors or struggle a little bit um, with uh, just finding them based on the definition or the, um, we also had uh, three questions to mm -hmm. identify causal factors that we use. So we started looking at ways that we could incorporate that definition and those three questions and also safeguard analysis into a more user-friendly type of thing, we came up with causal factor worksheets. Well, um, what, well, well, let me jump in here real quick. Uh, what are those three questions that initially oh, okay, people yeah. went So by? before uh, the causal factor worksheets, we had the definition, which mm -hmm. we said we also had three questions to identify causal factors. Those being, what was the initiating error? Mm -hmm. um, what were the opportunities to stop or catch that error? And what were the opportunities to mitigate the consequences? So we had those three questions. And that, those three questions, those were the ones we asked whether it was a safety situation, a quality situation, um, just whatever the situation was, it was those same three questions. So now you have got these worksheets that are um, really pretty fantastic. I mean, they're, they're not difficult. They're very, you know, we've got one for safety. We've got one for quality. We've got one for equipment um, and even patient safety. So something that hits home with everybody for sure. So on the causal factor worksheets, one of the things I noticed were your quality and safety were, were kind of similar at, at, in those first questions. But the, causal, the quality one, it gets a little deeper because there's more than one thing to look at kind of that caused sure. it. Yeah, <clears throat> well, with all four causal mm -hmm. factor worksheets, the, the terminology may be different because of the, the certain arena, the type of investigation you're in. But all four worksheets do have the same elements, which are understanding the incident, um, understanding that hazard target relationship, investigating those failures to stop, mm -hmm. catch, and mitigate the error, and um, investigating and finding those missing safeguards. Um, all four of the sheets have that, just the terminology may differ from sheet to sheet, depending on um, what you're doing. But um, yeah, to answer your question, in, in like a safety situation, uh, identifying the, the, the incident, the worst thing that happened, may be a little more cut and dry. But um, in a quality uh, situation, you, you have to identify the, that adverse to quality condition. Um, the consequences of that condition is your incident. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, a, a customer complaint, uh, which could be our worst consequence right. Uh, right. due to the defect in packaging, that's your condition adverse to quality. So, and there's some redundancy built into those sheets as well. You, you, you may come up with the same answer for one or two of the questions. But again, that's so that uh, we ensure that the investigators are capable of not only identifying the causal factors correctly, but ensuring we identify all causal factors to um, make sure that we don't miss any opportunities to for improvement in our investigations. Absolutely. If you're doing these investigations, let's get them as thorough as possible and take care of as many things. You can act proactively and, you know, hopefully the goal is to not have things happen in the future. So being able to catch some of those um, sure. and asking these questions, these worksheets, definitely I can tell can help people dig deeper down into what's going on. 
Yep, absolutely. So how was the response at the summit uh, for your all's workshop? We, we had a great response at the summit. Uh, we, we had a big session there at the summit, yeah. a lot of people in there, and um, but it went very well. And we've had good feedback. We've introduced this in our um, um, teaching courses as well. And so we've had good feedback from the attendees of those courses. And we're excited now um, offering the the online course, the webinar coming up at the end of April. Alex and I have worked hard on it. Um, you know, we've, we've got some interaction in there, some examples so that the attendees of the webinar can work through the sheet with Alex and I and see how it works. So it's going to be good. It's, it's something, um, as I said, we're trying to, to help not only new users, but experienced users as well when they may be in a more complicated investigation um, giving them that extra guidance and, and leading them to identify all those uh, mistakes and errors and missing safeguards with the causal factor worksheets. Fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's like, before, other than the root cause tree, boy, talk about this being the foundation of, of what you need to know. Uh, this is just great, great stuff. I'm so excited y'all going to have this webinar and it's going to be April 29th. A live webinar, not not yep. going to be something people can log in at different times. It'll be a, a live uh, workshop in 90 minutes. And if they want to find out about it, um, th they can go to our website um, and, and look for it there. Well, Tim, I'm excited about this. And people are going to be able to download the worksheets, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, for the attendees of yeah. the, the uh, online course, we'll be sending out the worksheets. And then also, um, if you have the Taproot software, yeah. The, the call to pack the worksheets are built right into the software, so they're always at our fingertips. Oh, um, and that's new. Yep, that is new. That is new. That came out in one of the latest releases, the one right, the, right before the summit. We added that to the software. Um, you can access it through your optional techniques in the snapshot of the software, and it opens right up and starts out with question number you. You pick which causal factor worksheet you're, you you want to use, depending on your investigation, and away you go. That's perfect. I mean, oh, wow. So if you all out there, if you have the Taproot software and you have not upgraded to the most recent uh, versions that we have, uh, you're missing out. There's some, these last couple of releases, uh, some big stuff have come out for the software. So you definitely want to, like, touch base with our tech support if you need a little help with that or something like that. But you definitely want to get your software up to date so that you can work on these causal factor worksheets right in the software. That's fantastic. Yep. Well, Tim, thank you. That was a lot of great information. I really appreciate you joining me. Um, I can't wait till we get back in the office and we can do this in the studio, although this has been fun too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I do wish I could have done it in the studio. I've heard a lot of great things about the green room and the snacks <laughs> and the fun time in the studio, but I, hopefully next time we can be back. Absolutely. We're all looking forward to being able to get back into our workplaces, and, and but right now keeping everybody safe and sound. That's what's important. But thank you, Tim. I appreciate it so much. So if you all like this um, this video, uh, first of all, give Tim some thumbs up and some likes because this was his first video and he did fantastic. I'm just, it was great. And I look forward to you being a guest again. If you want more information about this webinar that's coming up April 29th, you wanna go to our website. If you're not getting our newsletters, log onto our website, Go, I think you scroll down to the bottom and there's you can sign right up to start receiving all that information because we have more uh, webinars that are going to be coming out too. Uh, it's one of the things that have come out from the, the remote working right now. Uh, yeah. so we still want to get people some good information out there. So we've got like five or six webinars, I think, that are yeah. being worked yeah. on. So um, please go to our website, uh, taproot.com. You want more information, email us, info at taproot.com, and we're happy to help you. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. We're at, on Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram. Um, our blog is super important. Great information comes from our blog. Our new app has, if you download that, it's a free app. You can get where all of our social media um, information is. So you can just get it right there on your phone. It's super easy. Right, thank you so much for joining us. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell to find out when new videos are coming out. And we'll check back with you next time. Thank you.